Hello world, welcome back. So my name is Emily Jones. I am a former paparazzi consultant. Um, I consider myself an anti-MLMer now because, uh, you know, I want to educate uh, people about multi-level marketing companies and uh, what you could experience. I have shared my experience with the multi-level marketing company and I will continue to share my experience with those uh, that uh, are in multi-level marketing. So my thoughts over the last couple of days are uh, multi-level marketing women. Um, the uplines are like the mean girls of high school. I don't know if you guys have noticed that or not, but they are like the mean girls at your high school. And they talk like they know what they're talking about. And they say it very convincingly and with confidence because they know, they know people are going to listen to them and hang on every word they say. Because uh, I personally have experienced it. Um, I have seen it. Uh, the mean girl in my high school is now a, an upline hun within paparazzi herself. Um, so, yeah, I mean, she ran for student body office and she got it. She she was part of the, the seminary council. And seminary is um, where you go to religious school during high school. And uh, it's a very big thing in Utah. In most of other states, it's called early morning seminary. If you want to go to your Mormon seminary, you have to go early morning or after school. Mm -hmm. Yay. And uh, you have to get your seminary credits if you want to attend BYU or any other uh, Mormon affiliated college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's that. <clears throat> so yeah, the, uh, the Huns are like the worst form of the mean girl. And I, I, I mean that kindly, they are the worst form of the mean girl. I mean, case in point, uh, the lovely lady right here, Miss Rebecca. Uh, Miss Rebecca is a mean girl who has gone on my videos, watched them, new releases just dropped, um, and uh, left her passive aggressive mean girl comments. All right, well, that's fine. Ooh, look, there's that. I'm just going through to see what's dropped real quick. And, you know, so Rebecca, you can continue to watch my videos and leave your mean girl comments. And to my my devoted uh, subscribers who watch, you don't have to attack her. She's, she's taking care of her own karma all on her own. Don't waste your time, okay? Just don't do it. She's not worth your time. She's not worth your energy. Nothing. So, oh, come on. Would you just get them dropped, like, in a decent time? Okay, what a gem multi. This is the life of the party bring back. This lovely thing. I got one of these, and the rhinestone fell out. It was not secure at all. But that's the life of the party bring back, so let's, let's set the timer. It's not noon exactly. Medal of Honor. Wow. Some serious designing in that piece. Let's see. What else do we have here? The vagina necklace is still there. No one wants that. Myst Mystical Mineral. It came out in purple and someone thought it was going to be a Z Collection piece. Winslow Wanderer. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We still have Chaos Coordinator up there, and Time to Grow is now in copper. <laughs> and then Barefoot and Beachy, or Beach Bound. It's purple shell-like uh, discs on silver chains. And then we've got all these fabulous earrings for $5. I'm betting what a gem is now gone. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> so it's like, ooh, five dollars gone. Ear crawls called just a face in brass. Mmm, yay! These were on a video with Misty a couple days ago. I'm amazed they haven't sold out. Oh look, the fire symbol just started. So if you checked out and you want to get more stuff, you can combine your shipping now. That's what that means. 
Free bird freedom. There's a little feather charm in between all those rows. That is what? Did they just drop more stuff or did something else sell out? Let's look. Well, this mixed metal mecha thing, it's not really what it's called, but it's still there. Did we drop something else? Oh, Mojave Medallion. That's a new piece they just put down. I guess they're they're dropping things after things sell out to keep you guys coming back looking for more because you don't want to miss out on anything. No, no. So I'm not seeing anything really fabulous. This free bird freedom. Let's look at the close-up of these. <laughs> Like, I would not spend $5 on those. I would. I, I, and then we've got the juvenile hair bows and hair clips. And then we've got Wonderlust Wanderer. It's a clip clothes bracelet. And then we've got the Bronco Bustin' Bronco Bustin' Buckles. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we've got, it looks like a coil bracelet. Is it really, though? Oh yeah, it's a coil. Wee. So that's that's probably gonna sell out fast if it has, you know, let's not send egg timer to it, but it's gonna be gone before the end of the day. I guarantee you that. You know, never, never fails. Never. But yeah, that what a gem life of the party bring back. It was gone in less than a minute, you guys. Less than one minute. So these are the hair accessories, glitter caterpillars, still there. And uh, yeah, a bunch of people have uh, sent me messages. Thank you, by the way, for sending me your stories. Um, they've been sending me messages about um, their thoughts on the hair clips and hair bows because uh, they, they are very juvenile. They're not very adult-like at all. And then I'm going to go to this necklace. So let me go back to shop and go down to this one right... Where is it? Right here. Amour to Love. Okay. So there's Amour to Love. It's very, very similar to I Will Fly with Paparazzi. So I'm going to pull this up. So there's I Will Fly. It still has the hearts, it still has the hoop. It's a very similar piece. The only difference is the duff. Okay? So, and they had it in every single color. So, a more to love. The heart's different, and there's no duff. But everything else is eerily similar. So, unique, unique and different designs? I don't think so. Because the stuff isn't different. It's not unique. Um, it's the same stuff over and over and over again all the time all right so I'm gonna go on to my YouTube channel real quick here and pull up the comments and you can tell what I like to watch there's CC and there's my favorite right there so yeah your channel and then I'm gonna go to community and I can't remember how to do this. I know how to do it from other stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm awake today, so let me pick this down. Because I don't want their identity. I don't want people to find it, so. I will find them and read them to you. <clears throat> so, uh, a young lady was telling me her story. And her story kind of, it blew my mind because of what this guy was doing. So he called himself the King of Bling and he got upset when his rank was to, uh, his rank, what was it? His rank was in jeopardy. All right, so here's one story. I, I really appreciate what you do. I myself am a cancer survivor and I found, found myself in a bad situation and I fell for paparazzi. And I was encouraged to buy, 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 buy. And nothing was selling except to other consultants. Yes, because other consultants are the actual customer. There are no actual customers in paparazzi. 
Let's just say after the emotional abuse of blaming for not selling, buying more, I ran my credit card limits to the you know top of their limit, and I'm in horrible debt now. Does this story still sound familiar? Because it sounds like my story. Guess what? Nobody stayed in my life once I broke free and became inactive. Not all of my so-called sisters reached out to me. They just stopped talking to me. I was not in popper, so I was no longer in paparazzi, and I was broke. I had to sell personal things of actual value. She lost her car. She spent her year investing into jewelry that sat in her home and created a toxic atmosphere. And, you know, she enjoyed working at her job. Yeah, but people at the top of paparazzi use the crap out of the little ones, the peons, the downline, the bottom of the pyramid. They, they prey on us so they can survive. And they profit off of your purchases, not your sales. And that's the thing, paparazzi, upline consultants do not profit off of your sales, they profit off of your purchases. Okay. <sighs> Buying inventory, the inventory is cheap, it breaks, it's not worth $5. If I'm going to repair a piece of jewelry, it's not going to be one I spent $5 on. And I, I feel that way. You know, they, they they kind of force you to stay active by buying 25 pieces of jewelry each month. 50 PV. 25 pieces. And that's why they the uplines encourage you to sign up for a fashion fix. And it's because um, signing up for fashion fix is uh, how they make money. And it keeps you active. Okay? So by keeping you active... They make money. All right. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I'm reading your guys' comments on my, on my videos. Anyone can read these, but I'm just going to do it. All these people having prayer circles in the elite and black diamond over paparazzi jewelry sales for a new recruitment. They all know they're ripping off single moms, fixed income, and using guilt and emotional abuse to push buying. Buying and more buying, not sales. It's horrible like labor, child labor in China, which is probably who is making this jewelry. And we are speaking out, against, out, of, out against this at the very moment. I and others have had panic attacks and were empty on gas and food. And we were told to have faith in paparazzi and just buy more, do more lives, beg more. Question mark. My upline producer told me I lost my car to buy jewelry. Uh, once I lost my car to buy the bling bag, the $40 jewelry tote, and walk around selling jewelry door to door and at stores wearing a mask. He didn't want to hear any more excuses on my low sales. This is what I was talking about. So, and I responded, he encouraged door to door sales. I was like, are you serious right now? And I was like, wow. And then she responded, yes. He was saying there was nothing but excuses. And we were all putting his rank in jeopardy. And I needed one of those bags so I could walk and knock and start conversations with people on the streets and doors. And knock on doors and sell it like Avon does. And have my jewelry available right there to sell. I need to put the Square app on my phone for card payments. He was over 500 pounds in a wheelchair. And his girlfriend was really selling everything, but he called himself the King Bling. <laughs> I'm like, and my response to this was, his rank was in jeopardy. His rank, not yours. He didn't give a shit about anybody else. And the narcissism of these people is so incredibly gross. Okay? The narcissism of um, the people that are in uplines, it's so incredibly gross. And it, it makes me sick. And speaking of narcissism, let me put this back down and let me get my display capture back up. Give me a second to get that. Let's talk about uh, narcissism for a second again. All right. Now, you guys know that, you know, Frank's Divas uh, are the ones I like to poke the hive at. 
Okay, and why is that? Because they were some of the very first people to ever sign up for Pavarazzi. So the timing for them has always been really good because they are at the top of the pyramid. Their, their lifetime rank versus their current rank is probably a little bit different. Their current rank is probably dropped, but they were at one point probably way up there. They probably got the luggage and the books and the, the necklaces and all that stuff. But they've been having a great time on TikTok. <laughs> and some of these videos I was watching them last night, it's like, do you spend all day walking around your house doing these TikTok videos? Is this, is this how you're spending your time? So, I mean, this one's only from 19 minutes ago. Let's give it a, a look-see. Don't let one year from now you wish that you started the year Start now. Okay, that's culty and honey. Piece of advice. Don't let one year ago you talk you out of being this year. So now she's doing another one. But really, why? So I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. We have a couple of things to cover today, so I'm going to try and move really quickly. To start off, why? Okay. Uh, secondly is how come? How come? Uh -huh. And finally, how dare? you what get out of the chair Brittany go someplace else all of your videos you're in the same outfit uh, you you've changed your shirt maybe but get out of your chair oh now she's doing them from her car oh let's see what mom has to go oh, this is I'm having fun poking fun so let's poke fun I think it was uh, I think it was Mm. I don't remember. Did you guys read the caption on that? Let's play this again. I think it was, uh... When my husband asked how much I've spent on jewelry today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because a lot of the women in their downline are the ones buying jewelry on a daily basis with their husband's money. Can I please have some energy to do the things I gotta do? Or take the things away. What are the other? No things to do or energy. Thank you. So completely staged. So cringy. So annoying. Okay. It's the best thing. What's Mama Frank saying? Let's first of all. When you see your whole team leveling up. Another one. Another one, another one, another one, another. So, their new recruits are recruiting more people. So, so she sees her whole team leveling up. What does that mean? She's going to see her paychecks going up. She's going to see her rank going up. She's going to see her generational bonus going up. Ooh, what's all that stuff she's going to get when she hits Maven A Lister? Let me find my stupid paparazzi book. It's in my desk somewhere. Let's see, because she wants to be Maven a lister. So let's look at the my paparazzi. So everyone's leveling up. So iconic impressionista. Then there's a freshnista. So Maven a lister. She wants to get that Maven a lister again. So she gets a necklace, a Chanel purse. What else does she get? An official certificate. Ooh, ah. But really, you should reach for the sky, Mama Frank. You should go for Jet Setter, Lux Jet Setter, or Impressionista so you can go down to the spa in St. George because, you know, everyone wants to do that. Where's the other stuff? Hold on. Here we go. Is that it? This is it. Let me get this out. <laughs> Let's see. Let me get that compensation plan bullshit out. I turned a lot of this over, but I lost quite a bit of it. I'll find it in a second because, you know, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Many people were before they started. Don't let this stop you. That's the best thing when you see people leveling up. 
Me to myself when I'm feeling too much anxiety. When someone is trying your patience, but you got to keep your cool. I'm just looking at all the stuff that they have on their website. And you go under videos right now, and it's all TikTok videos. Model face, smiling with your eyes. Is smiling out your eyes. Raise your eyebrows. Stop smiling. That's your model face. <laughs> Smile without your eyes. Raise your eyebrows. Stop smiling. That's your model face. <laughs> Smile without your eyes. Sorry, I'll Raise do your eyebrows. Oh, Stop go back. smiling. Seriously, that's that's how they're spending their time right now. This this is how they're spending their time. Are they spending their time in their in their garage selling all the jewelry that they have? I mean, they've got years and years of videos here, you guys. Years. Years and years. Years and years and years. But one thing that's never changed is their paparazzi story, which of course is their paparazzi story. But also the five key elements. Okay? Wow, is that Robbie? He's lost some weight. So, but yes, uh, the five key elements, they have not changed or varied from that script in years. So, and Robin Frank, you know, she had three years to live, but yet she's still alive and kicking. Here she is with her vision board because she has to have several videos on how to make a vision board. Your goals and your why, I mean, some of these I just can't stomach. I, I can't stomach, you know, what what these are. So yeah, there's that. So the mean girl factor is pretty pretty uh, common with uh, applying Huns. They love to uh, they love to uh, be passive aggressive, but they also love to talk in circles, kind of like I have been right now. So that's where I'm going to end this video today because my brain has stopped functioning and I have to go to work. So everyone have a wonderful day and keep it spicy and, and sassy and feisty and all those other things that all the other anti-MLMers say um, because I agree with them. Let's keep speaking out. Let's keep educating the public on what these shady as shit people do. And, uh, you know, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.